Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Salim, and I represent Aramax. I think first off, I'd like to thank uh, WordPress for organizing this meetup and uh, each and every one of you for being here today. So today, in the next half an hour or so, I'll be covering three main topics. The first is to give you an overview of the Aramex organization, predominantly who we are and what we do. I appreciate that some of you may not have heard about us or know little about us, so I thought that it'd be relevant to set a certain baseline. Uh, the second portion is basically echoing what Yongsheng has uh, talked about in terms of market trends. We know that e-commerce has been a very vibrant and robust vertical. Uh, you know, we want to share with you statistics in terms of elaborating and defining what vibrant means and what to look forward to in terms of opportunities. The uh, third portion there would be uh, basically what Aramax has in terms of solution that enables global e-commerce, right? And then we have a bit of a talk on uh, the API program as well as uh, some of the services that uh, we provide. So, I'll start off with uh, Aramex and, and really who we are. So, we started off in 1982. So, technically, we've got 37 years of demonstrated experience in providing distribution and supply chain solutions. Predominantly, we started off in the Middle Eastern region. So, we are based in Jordan. South, uh, in Jordan. And then, as we grew and matured the Middle Eastern region to become one of the leading players in that particular region, we expanded globally through acquisitions across key markets in various regions of the world, right? We are a listed company, right? So we are listed in the Dubai Stock Exchange. Our revenue turnover is averaging about US 1 billion. Okay, interesting to note that over the past five years, uh, the Aeromax growth has actually been driven by e-commerce, right? So the strategic position of the business is to reinvest to grow its network and to grow its IT infrastructure to cater to the dynamic needs of the uh, e-commerce vertical, right? Uh, so we have a presence, a direct presence in 77 countries globally. So it's either wholly owned by Aramex uh, and uh, to complement the global coverage, we have what we call an Aramex network. So basically we work with partners in those countries to allow us the last mile custom clearance, and local knowledge. But in essence, to be part of the Aramax network, they are, they are all required to actually comply with the Aramax uh, 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 policies. Uh, in terms of employees, we've got 18,000 employees. Regional hubs, we have regional hubs in Singapore, Hong Kong, and Dubai. So Singapore is the hub for South Asia. So anything that goes from the world to South Asia, hubs by Singapore, or anything that goes from South Asia to the world hubs by Singapore. Uh, Hong Kong is the North Asia hub and Dubai is the global hub. Right? So if you look at Singapore being a hub for South Asia, we have direct connectivity into the markets. Right? Uh, strategic expansion in Asian markets. Over the past 14 years, we've made a few acquisitions. In fact, 14 countries are, are, are currently now uh, Aramex owned. And our customer base worldwide is about 60,000. All right? So in terms of what do we do, what do we offer the market, our solutions are holistic across the supply chain. We just don't do distribution, but as you can see, we do warehousing and we do freight as well. So we have Express predominantly, is Express product is predominantly a business to business product. So if you're delivering from a business to a business, it's the, the, this is the product that we use. We also have an e-commerce product. As you can appreciate, although in the simplistic form, uh, express deliveries and e-commerce deliveries are basically a pickup and a delivery. You yourself being consumers, you would know that it's a different animal altogether, right? Because in an e-commerce environment, there are consumers' expectations of how delivery is to be made, right? There is a need for optimization of operations to keep your costs low because you're dealing with volumes, right? So we separated the two. Logistics, we offer warehousing solutions, but our core focus is on the SMEs, the small and medium. If you work with uh, uh, established logistics companies, they basically, their target audience are really the biggest size companies with a lot of warehouse space requirements. For, for Aramex uh, position, we are looking at the small medium enterprise. So if you do not have too much of a space requirements, we can help you with that. Now, as far as freight is concerned, okay, so we do bulk, 
shipment for you. I think there was a question just now whether that we do freight. Yes, so we can do air and ocean freight to cater to your uh, bulk orders. Right? So leveraging on our uh, global network as well as our IT infrastructure, we actually support the uh, e-commerce vertical by providing a distribution network to serve the needs of the e-commerce market. So I'll just show you a video, a short video that will demonstrate this. Selling products online and delivering them to customers in local <coughs> markets is pretty straightforward, right? But capturing shoppers in other regions of the world could be a bit more difficult. With the International Express Solutions from Aramex, Expanding your business to international markets is no longer a complex, expensive process. By choosing Aramex, you are leveraging an established global logistics network that will get your products wherever they need to go. Aramex provides APIs, apps, and extensions that enable e-tailers to easily integrate with our systems for a seamless and convenient delivery process. The moment a customer submits an order on your e-store, Aramex starts the order fulfillment process. From picking it up from your shop or warehouse to shipping it quickly and securely to your customers' doorsteps. No matter where they are, Aramex helps you reach your potential customers easily and conveniently. Russia wasn't highlighted. So I'm sorry? <laughs> Russia. Yeah, Russia wasn't highlighted. No more questions? So we, ship to Russia. we do ship to Russia. So basically, Thank you for the question. So I mentioned there are 70, 69 countries in the world which is Aramex. So to complement our global distribution, we have partners covering the rest of the world. So Russia is a partner as part of the Aramex uh, network. It wasn't highlighted on the map. It was not red. It wasn't red. Yes. So those that are in red are wholly owned by Aramex. Those that are not in red are served by partners that we work with. So when we complement the two together, we have a global distribution network. So Russia is a partner. Okay, thanks. A partner. No, no, no worries, no worries. Thanks for the question. <laughs> okay, this portion here, I think, is echoing what Yongsheng has actually mentioned uh, in terms of what the trends are in, 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 in e-commerce globally and in certain key regions of the world. So you have a population of 7.6 billion, roughly. 23% today actually shop online, right? In 2020, the expectation is for that to grow to 27%. So although in a percentage, the growth is marginal, but if you look at it in relation to the total population, that's quite sizable, right? The average spent uh, globally is about 1,500 US dollars, right? Now, in terms of all those customers, 57% who shop, shop internationally, right? So that's a sizable number as well, right? In terms of region, Europe currently hits that with 63.4% of all online shoppers shopping internationally. And then uh, Asia Pacific, Africa and Latin America averages about 50, 50, 55 to 56%, all right? So I think, uh, again, echoing what Yongsheng has mentioned, well, Singapore is a strong market. Really, to expand your business, you've got to, grow, you've got to go global, right? Because the statistics are showing it. Now, two key markets that we want to share with you as well. So U.S. has a population of about 323 million, 67% shop online. And that's expected to grow to 71% by 2020. Okay, and the average spent is about 2,000 USD. This is the value of online transactions in 2018. About almost 400 billion was actually spent on uh, online shopping, right? And as you can see, those are the products that are top selling. But if your products doesn't fall within this category, I think the market is big enough and the opportunity is huge. Now, when you go into Europe, statistically, it's about the same. 68% of the European population shop online. That actually equates to about 325 million uh, shoppers. And in 2020, that's expected to grow to 72%. The average spend in the UK alone is about 942 
euros, average basket size. And in Europe as a whole, it's about 50, 550 euros. So it's, it's a huge opportunity for all of us. The total e-commerce spend in 2018 works out to 310 billion. And these are the categories of uh, top selling items uh, in the European market. Now, the third portion is basically covering the solutions that Aramex has to enable global e-commerce. Now, it's important to note that when we develop a solution, it's not what we think works, but basically what we, through surveys, understand what consumers want. And we build that solutions in line with consumers' expectations. So Aramex solution covers the entire life cycle of an e-commerce order. So there is a solution at every step of the uh, e-commerce order. From the beginning at checkout, we have API platforms that you can host on your website that helps you upstream when an order is received, you know, the shipping process, the labelings, and so on and so forth. That API helps you at checkout. The second thing that it does is actually downstream where it helps you with your consumer uh, experience where it gives you several layers of visibility upon order right so when somebody orders they want to know where their orders is we have api solutions that we can integrate with your website that allows your customers to actually see that that order has been processed and is on its way right then we go into the international express uh, our network as I shared with you in the earlier slides, we have a global distribution network that covers 220, 220 countries globally, right? It's a combination of, again, wholly owned uh, operations by Aramax or a partner operations by Aramax, right? We have custom brokerage, so we'll clear customs for you. And then, obviously, the last mile delivery network where they will fulfill the deliveries uh, to your end customers, right? We also have payment on delivery solutions. Now, the reality is that in some markets, there is a need for COD services. That means they want to pay for the item upon delivery. So we have that solution to help provide that service to your customer. So it's an additional revenue stream for you uh, if you are able to offer this uh, service to your consumers. And then the reality of e-commerce as well is returns. Right, a percentage of your goods will be returned or requested to be returned for various reasons. Right? So Aramex has a solution to manage your returns uh, through, again, an uh, integration uh, platform. Okay, earlier on, I mentioned that the solutions that we develop is based on what consumers are saying they want. And this, I must say, is dynamic. Uh, today, what is a uh, want becomes a need tomorrow. Tomorrow, what's a need becomes an expectation. So the key point that I've made earlier on that Aramex reinvests in the business uh, is essential because we will continually reinvest to grow our network and our IT infrastructure to support this need, to support these changing needs. So <coughs> the first key point that the customer actually are saying is that they want to be able to have flexibility of choice in terms of choosing their delivery method, right? You have over 60% that either wants flexibility to choose a delivery date because they may not be home at the date that's scheduled for delivery or to reroute a package because I'm not at home. I work very hard. I'm most of the time in the office. Can you please deliver to my office instead? Right? Or another option is I would like to pick it up from a uh, pickup point. Right? So we have solutions for all this uh, need right? through several platforms. Right? We are able to reschedule uh, to a different time and day based on the customer's needs. They can choose to pick up from the Aramex outlets or we've established what we call a PUDO, a pickup and drop off points, where we actually work with a partner that essentially has collection locations across 50 retail centers in Singapore, and we grow as, 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 as the need uh, comes. So the platforms that we have is mobile applications, right? Everyone's on a mobile phone. 
So it's either a consumer application where basically what we do is we push the delivery notification to your mobile phone. So your mobile phone is unique to you, right? And then especially for those major shoppers where you order a lot of things to remember so many airway bill numbers or tracking numbers can be a hassle. So what we do is we actually associate the airway bill number to your mobile phone number. So you get a push. So you will get a push and then you will know that, hey, this item is coming today. And then you can, through that application, make the reschedule arrangements uh, as you wish or prefer. Right? The second level is obviously the, uh, the SMSs. We will send SMSs uh, and then you can select through that SMS your preferred delivery option. And obviously, traditionally, through the call center that Aramax has to support uh, customers' needs. <coughs> okay, so this is one of the biggest pain points when dealing with uh, cross-border shipping, right? Uh, because of transparency to cost. I think uh, we all know that the customs infrastructure is very different in different countries because it's a revenue stream for the, the country, right? So <clears throat> one of the biggest pain points here is uh, buy a product for $100 and when the product is actually delivered to you, it costs $150. The $50, you don't even know about it at the point of checkout. Why? Because there are customs uh, duties levied on that particular product, right? So this is the biggest pain point. So the solution that we have for that is a duty calculator. So again, this is a solution that we have. If you remember that cycle, that is able to be established at your checkout page. So it works on the perimeters of what sits in our repository. I'm sorry. So basically, basically, every item that's imported into a country has a HS code number. It's a code number identifying the product, right? So there is a tax structure against that product or HS code. So it's 10% of whatever, 5% of whatever, right? So it works on that repository. We also have a shipping rules and restrictions repository. So if it is a restricted commodity, right, uh, it will pull from that repository. And obviously currency localization because tax is always based on local currency. So if you're selling an item in Singapore dollars and you're shipping it to Indonesia, when customs in Indonesia tax it, they'll convert that into Indonesian rupees. Right? So they will use the day's exchange rate to tabulate. Right? So basically, with that as a repository, the flow would be such that the customer orders from your website. Your, it will then read the data in terms of the HS codes, and it will push back duty and tax and shipping charges to you. So what you will be able to see when making an order is the product cost, the duty and tax fees, if any, and obviously shipping and handling. So you have total transparency in terms of how much that product is going to cost, right? So the hidden cost challenge is uh, overcome through this uh, total landed cost solution. Now visibility, I think we all know that as consumers, right? I think only looking at that survey done, only 7% when they order don't bother about where their shipment is. The rest of the 93% would like to know where their packages are. So I think Yongsheng covered earlier on in terms of tracking and reliability, right? It's uh, essential, right? So <coughs> we do provide full track and trace solutions. So the first option, or the per you have multiple flat platforms to track and trace, right? The consumer application that I shared with you earlier, where it's a push of data to your mobile phone, allows you that avenue to have visibility of your products when they arrive. So I'll show you a short video to demonstrate that. Packages using your phone number. It's so easy to keep track of everything. Stay connected to your package with real-time updates sent directly to you. <coughs> Increase your 
enjoy paying your shipment charges hassle free with your credit card using our in app payment feature. You need to sign for a package? No problem. Just tell us when and where we'll come to you. You can even track your package live as it's being delivered to you. And please don't forget to rate our performance with your new app. Happy ordering, everyone! Download the new Aerobix app from your app store today! One of the cooler features of this application is like, you know, um, it has a GPS functionality. So like when you actually uh, book a Grab, it will tell you where your driver is at any moment in time and how long he's estimated to come to your location. This app actually enables that. And the other thing is that this app actually enables you to see the driver's particulars who is delivering to you and the mobile number. So again, you know, that flexibility factor comes in. So you don't have to go through the traditional route of going to you, your, 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 your website or calling Aramax. You can actually have direct uh, connection with the driver and then tell them that, hey, I need five minutes more because I'm downstairs at the shop, right? <coughs> this is the other uh, platform for uh, uh, visibility. We actually offer APIs for you to actually host on your website, okay? So with that API and the integration, your customers can actually key into this system, your order number or the tracking number. We do an association of the two, so they can track either by tracking number or order number, and then it pulls the tracking data into your platform, and you can see the tracking events. So sometimes customers that we have, they prefer simplistic because we've got like over 500 scans right uh, to that level of detail but you don't want to make it complicated for your customers so what we can do is we can map a group of tracking events to your one tracking event or two or three tracking events to simplify the tracking process but the key point is that you can host this and it creates convenience and drives the customer experience because they don't have to come to my site to track and number two is that we want the hits to be on your site because as they are tracking they see an offer I want to order another item, right? And obviously the traditional way of tracking uh, is to go to the aramax.com site and then they key in the numbers, either your order number or tracking number and they'll see a tracking event. So this is just an example of tracking events, right? It's out for delivery. If when deliveries have been attempted, we send SMSs to the customer to notify them. Then it goes out for the delivery based on the reschedule and then it gets delivered. So the website actually enables you to pull out signatures as well. So should you want to view signatures, you can actually pull out signatures and image of the signature of the receiving party. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, returns are a component of the whole life cycle, right? For various reasons, customers returns. But the key statistics that uh, I can share with you is that 90% of all consumers uh, will actually look at your returns policy. Do you have a returns policy? Right. And half of that would review the returns policy. Is it free returns? Is it paid returns before they decide to purchase? Right. So in order to support the uh, returns uh, process, we actually have a portal, a returns portal that can be white labeled to your brand. Okay, so basically, again, you can host this in your website. So a, so a customer requesting for return goes to your website and makes that request. And we, running the backend engine, will actually generate a label for your customer, a shipping label for your customer. They, they actually print it, they paste it on the package, and then they schedule a pickup as well. Right? But the beauty of it is that there is an administrator uh, portal from this solution. Returning items purchased online. Uh, there is there's an administrator portal for this solution that actually allows you visibility of your returns. So you don't fragment your process. And number one, you have total visibility. X are the number of returns I have, who are the customers, where are they? So you have total control and total visibility of returns. Thanks, Andy. Returning items purchased online and getting them back across borders. <coughs>
Aramex provides you with a complete reverse logistics solution that makes returns easy for both you and your customers. Through this return solution, you get a fully customizable and localized microsite with your own branding to handle all your returns. Customers can use the site to schedule their returns. They'll be able to enter the order details, choose a collection date and address, or a drop-off location, and pay for the return if required. They're then provided with a shipping label to attach to their returned items. As a retailer, you can easily integrate your orders with the Aramex return system to manage your returns and enforce your own return policies, including flexible return charges, controlling returns at the SKU level, initiating return requests on behalf of your customers, and exporting reports of all returned items. We'll streamline your returns process and boost your customer satisfaction with Aramex's quick and reliable return solution. Would it be costly for me as... To, to do this? Okay, so... Uh, basically, there is a charge for the labels, right? So we charge for the labels as generated. So if you, it, and it's only charged when there is a return request. Okay, but is it, do you charge as much for the delivery or No, the delivery is the delivery. No, I know, but I mean, for example, the fee, is it equivalent to, uh, to delivery? No, no, uh, no. So just to give you a, a feel, right? Uh, if you look at it from a domestic perspective, Singapore market, Say the delivery fee is five dollars, the label generation will probably cost you about twenty thirty cents. Okay, but uh, I'm dropshipper, right? Yes. And my suppliers ship direct to my customers, but uh, <coughs> you can I use your service as returns? You pick up the package from my customers and send it back to the suppliers without my customers knowing. Absolutely. Uh, would it be cost? No, again, it's, it's just the, the label printing. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. No, no, no. So the shipping cost is the shipping cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's a label cost. La. But the shipping cost, that's what I was asking actually. Like, what's actually the shipping cost? Is it the same? Is it equivalent to the delivery shipping cost? Uh, it would be, if I understand your question correctly, right, I mean, it would be standard shipping cost. Again, if I was to give you a domestic example, say $5 to deliver, now you want it returned, it's going to cost you $5, $5 as well. As well yeah. But you just, you, just, you just pay for the label generation, which is about 20 or 30 cents. How about from uh, Europe to Asia, like to China or to Japan or to Korea? Mm -hmm. So it, it depends on destination, it depends on, uh, yeah, it, it could range, right? We, we have a product that I'm going to talk to you about, or my team is going to talk to you about later. We'll share with you the cost. Okay. Yeah. So, so returns, I mean, this is from the consumer perspective, right? This is what he keys into your portal. Remember, this is all hosted at your site, right? So you have your brand somewhere there. So did they just key in their name, the items they want to return, whether it's refund or exchange, right? You have a drop down. Now, if your business is unique, you have different returns policy, we can add on to that drop down, right? And then uh, the collection address, right? So I'm the consumer, I'm keying this in, right? Then the next thing is, it will just show you an acknowledgement. I'll get an acknowledgement that has been processed. Now, you as the retailer, you have an administrator, an administrator screen that you can see this activity. So, essentially, you have visibility of what's being returned, where is it uh, at any given point in time. Right? So, that, that's an example of uh, this one of the customers that's on. So, your brand will be there. Right? So, so you, 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 you can uh, brand it and host it on your website. So without any additional cost to develop a returns module, right? Okay, the other need of a consumer and dependent on markets, right, is the need to have deliveries on COD basis. That means they wish to receive the items and pay for the items upon delivery, right? So, many reasons for this. Certain countries, they have poor internet, uh, 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 credit card penetration rates, 
poor payment gateway solutions, and essentially in some countries it's a lack of trust, right? And why there's a lack of trust? Because it's cultural, right? And uh, the local laws do not protect the buyer in the event that something goes wrong. So in these markets, there is a need for COD. Now the Middle East market is a COD market, and I'll tell you that uh, as a fact. If you wish to penetrate into the Middle East market, you have to have a COD option. We have a customer today that actually ships 5,000 orders a day. 5,000 orders a day uh, into the Middle East, predominantly Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates. It's a very untapped market, uh, but you can actually see the potential because they are rich people, they've got huge spending power, right? But to, to, to penetrate that market, you have to have a COD solution because that's the culture of the, 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 the country. I need to see the item before I pay. So the COD solutions that we offer is systematic. It is not manual whereby I write on a piece of paper because it involves cash transactions. There needs to be an integration where when you have an order for a COD, it pushes that order to us. It generates a label that marks it as a COD shipment and the amount you want us to collect. So that is transferred data-wise to the driver's scanners, and the driver will know this is a COD delivery and this is how much I need to collect. So it has to work on a, on a, on a systematic level because if it's manual, it gets a bit messy. And when you're dealing with money, you, you don't want to go there. Right? So we share with you a video on, on the COD solutions. <coughs> Some of the products online so far online payments are not widely used can be a challenge. Customers in those markets prefer to pay for their orders upon delivery. Aramax enables you to provide a payment on delivery option on your e-store, which opens the door for valuable business opportunities from large global markets. Aramax can collect payments from your customers on your behalf when delivering their packages, including the order's total charges, the duties and taxes, and the shipping fees. All payments are then settled with the e-tailers on a regular monthly basis. The solution is simple and fully compliant with international standards and regulations. Aramex's payment on delivery solution gives your customers the payment flexibility they need. I think recently you probably heard on the media Singapore was actually uh, promoting uh, payment before delivery because of scams that has happened. Sorry? Yeah. So there is going to be a tendency to push, you know, uh, this option. So although Singapore as a market actually has a very good uh, payment gateway system, they actually have good credit card penetration rate, you know, um, these little, little things actually uh, drive the need for uh, a cash on delivery solution. So we have, uh, through the collaboration with uh, WooCommerce or WordPress, uh, where we have a plugin. So essentially, it gives you a plug and play to a shipping module without any development, right? So predominantly, it gives you uh, access to the following uh, capabilities. It allows you to do a rate calculator. That means customers can actually see what the cost of shipping would be domestically or internationally. Right, scheduling a collection, creating a shipment, obviously the generation of shipping uh, airway bill uh, to printing of label, tracking the shipment as well. They are able, we have plugins with WooCommerce, so there's no development that is required uh, on, your, on your part. Because we are nice people, yes, it's free. <laughs> okay. Okay, in terms of our collaboration with uh, eBay, right, we offer you the full suite of services at competitive rates, right? Uh, later on, you can see any members of my team in red that will share with you. I think they'll answer your question in terms of shipping, yes. right? I think uh, this portion uh, is a new product launch for us. I think if you remember what Yongsheng mentioned earlier on, there was hybrid, a hybrid solution, right? I think one of the values of Aramax is that it's scalable 
and I think uh, it is also flexible in terms of structuring the distribution network to suit the consumer demands, right? So we've recently launched a deferred product into the US and European regions. For obvious reasons, if you, refer, if you refer to my slides on the trends, US and Europe are the biggest markets, right? So basically what this is, is a deferred product that uses Aramax uh, global network to export, to custom clear, and then when it reaches the destination, it feeds into a postal network or a deferred network, right? So that's why we call it hybrid. So unlike pure post, which takes two weeks, because it's a hybrid, we actually take probably about between four to eight days for deliveries into the US and the Europe, or EU markets at very competitive rates, right? And it's a fully trackable solution. It is not post where you don't have visibility of uh, the product upon export. It's fully trackable. So all the best bells and whistles of the express service is available in this option. The only difference is that it feeds into a deferred network at destination. So by feeding into a deferred network, what we achieve is economies of scale. And when we achieve economies of scale, we pass that savings on to you. Right? So some of the product mechanics, six to eight days for delivery. So if there is no urgency, right, this could be a product for you. Fully track and trace, which satisfy the customer's needs for visibility. We build on actual versus cubic weight. Now, if you ship with FedEx or UPS or uh, DHL, no, they are express carriers. You probably need to pay an arm and a leg. But obviously for, for a reason, right? You want it fast and they will charge you the heavier of the two. So if you're sending a pillow as an example, it's only 500 grams, but you have to pack it because of the size, they'll probably charge you two to three kilos. For this product, it's actually based on actual weight. So if you send a pillow, we will charge you the actual weight, we will not charge you the cubic weight, if that makes sense. Right? And our charges are at 550 gram weight breaks. So similar to postal, but you get all the values of the, 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 the rest of the bells and whistles. Uh, of an express solution. So in the short, if you do not have speed as a necessity, this could be a product that may fit your business model, right? Um, obviously, if you have express requirements, we can actually manage that for you as well. So we actually give you a few options because every business is unique, right? You cannot have one shoe that fits off. So we have several solutions that you are actually uh, able to choose according to your marketing and your, your, your business models. Okay. So, before we, we, we close off with the summary, this is the video, right? The, the video, right? Before we close off the summary, uh, you can see any one of my uh, team later in relation to those uh, uh, special uh, services that we offer, the hybrid solutions that we offer into uh, Europe and the US. I think to thank everyone for, for being here today and taking the time, we are going to offer a free shipment uh, if you sign up, right? Uh, I think proof is in the pudding, right? So you need to test the service because what I'm doing is just articulating. You obviously have to feel the service. So we feel that it's necessary to, uh, and, and obviously to thank you for being here, to offer you a free shipment to have a feel of, uh, you know, uh, the RMX solutions, right? Okay, to close off, another video to summarize what I've uh, covered in the past half an hour, 40 minutes.
Dynamax is able to increase our processing efficiency by 300%. This, along with our quality control teams, is the reason we are able to accurately deliver your packages locally and globally. And it doesn't end here. Dynamax will power your shipping process technology such as website API integration and e-tools. You will be freeing up time from manual tasks to focus on your business and achieve operational freedom. At Aramax, we work hard to ensure your success is unlimited. Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Thank you.